Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's nice of you to join me again. Um, I want to do another slime video. Um, some of these slimes are from different places, but recently I my camera doesn't want to stay still. It wants to, for some reason, keep moving on me. So I hope you'll just bear with me while I try and get it to settle. Um, I received some of these slimes from Wish. I know that a lot of people don't um, rate slimes that have come from Wish, but I have two that I received. This little slime right here is a white kind of slime, and it seems to have some sort of beads or orbies in it, um, but we'll check that out soon. Another slime that I received is a little slime kit. I'm just going to move my camera back because it's moving again. Um, this little slime kit, I think, comes with two, three um, different colors. Um, you've got blue, pink, and white, and you also get this little, little lollipop charm. These slimes were a pound each and a pound for delivery, and I think that's quite reasonable. Um, they're not huge slimes. Um, but they seem pretty decent. This is another slime that I bought from Wish. This one I'm not really rating. Um, I haven't opened this slime yet, but I mean, it looks like it's not full. Um, it is unicorn poo putty. It's not full. It does look like, I don't know whether in the shipping that it's got mixed. It should have been in the picture. Um, it should have been pink and purple. Um, but we'll have a look at that soon. This is another one of the pearl clays um, that I had bought when I was um, in Dublin. And this one has come in, looks like little round um, shapes. Um, I really rate this. I think this is super fun, especially if you get it in um, a few different colors because it is moldable and you can make shapes out of it. So that one's super fun. And then this one, um, this one I bought in a shopping center um, in Dublin or close to Dublin um, and I can't really remember the name of the shop but I think these were something like two euros for this big tub and I mean if I'm paying two pound for this and two euros for this one I mean the size difference is quite noticeable so I think this is a relatively good price I'm going to try really hard to get my camera to focus and my last one, I've done unicorn poo and figure review before. Get the camera to focus. The last one I did, I think, was a pink and glitter, but I found this beautiful green. And because I'm from Ireland, I thought the green would be good with the black figure. So we're going to go ahead and open all of those in a minute. But the first thing I'd like to do before we get into our slime is just to give a shout out to Tierna McCulloch because she made these little sand figures um, you, that I've, I'm using in the background just while I'm waiting on her to come pick them up. And I think that she did absolutely amazing. Um, and we we did these together, but Tierna did all of the decorating. She um, did all of the colors. And I think she did an amazing job. I especially love the little teddy bear. I love how she's mixed all the colors. Um, and she's done the little slants in it. And I, I thought they were super cute. That's why they're getting a shout out in this video. And I'm using them as part of my backdrop. And this one is adorable. Um, she did this all by herself. And she filled the sand and then poked the sticks. Um, a stick down the side to make these little um, patterns. Um, and I love the fact that she accentuated the... Um, she accentuated the... Um, the sand at the top with the glitter, which I just think is adorable. I mean, I think this is super creative and I just wanted to give her a shout out um, and use these as part of my backdrop because they are super cute. Okay, and we've got some sand on my table, so you have to just bear with with that one too. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is open this unicorn um, poo putty. This one, yeah, I'm really not impressed with. It's, it's just, I mean... It looks like in transit it's probably been mixed. There was glitter in this at one point. Um, but, oh, <laughs> it does make fun noises though. Um, I'm not overly impressed with this one. Um, and this one again was a pound and a pound for the shipping. So, 
but I mean it's still even though it's not a full putty or slime I mean it is still quite pliable you can feel that it's still got that wetness um, which is what you want to feel when you've you're doing your slimes I'm trying guys I'm so sorry I'm trying really hard to get my camera to not do that swivel um, but for some reason I think that my stand might be broken but I, and I will order a new one so this one you can see whilst it's still pretty decent slime and it's I mean you can still play with it and whatever I just would have wanted it to come the way um, I'd seen it in the picture so that's a slight disappointment um, it's still quite stretchy you do get the bubble pops when you create the little air pockets in it I'm just going to see if I can do something about this camera because I'm struggling to focus when it moves if I can just maybe get it to sit that would be fantastic um, it is still fun to play with and this is more even though I mean this is supposed to be oh it's putty so I was going to say it's not slime it's putty and it does have that putty consistency um, still fun to play with um, I guess I'm just still disappointed that we didn't get what I had purchased oh my goodness this camera is driving me crazy so I'm really sorry about the the camera moving let's see if we can create a bit of air to create a bubble no but you are getting really decent air pops with this I'm going to try and see if I can lock this down a little bit more to make it tighter so it doesn't do that movement It might also be that I mean, I'm currently working on my kitchen table um, and maybe the fact that I'm moving my kitchen table is why the camera is moving. I'm not really sure. But for this video at least, we'll just have to try our best. I mean, this putty is quite squishy and again, you are getting really decent bubble pops it's not my favorite slime or putty but I guess it's okay um, I definitely won't purchase this again um, if I f find it somewhere else maybe in a shop somewhere I might purchase it but I wouldn't purchase this one from Wish and you know I've bought slimes from Wish even though I know that they've got um, not a great, you know, reputation for providing decent slimes. Um, I've had a number that I've bought from Wish and I've thought that they were quite good. This one just isn't. Yeah, so that's our first slime. Guys, I'm just going to go close the door because my TV's on and I'm conscious that you can hear it in the background. And I don't want, I don't want that. So that was me just going to close the door. Um, yeah, so that's our first slime from Wish. Um, and it's not, definitely not my favorite. So we're going to go ahead. We'll just pop that back in the box. Pop it over here. Oh my goodness, the camera is not doing good. <laughs> Guys, just bear with me. I'll be right back. I'm just going to try and see if I can adjust this camera to keep it um, steady. Okay, hopefully that's a bit better. So the next slime I want to go and open is this. And it's simply called slime. There's no other markings or maker's name on this. Um, so I can't really tell you anything more about it. But it is from Wish. And we go ahead and open it and you can see that it's got these blue 
these are not orbs I'm hitting them and they sound more like little beads and we've got blue we've got pink and I think we have purple and just pull that right out of the, the, the um, packaging and I think this is supposed to be a crystal slime we've already lost one of our beads <coughs> excuse me but we'll pop that right back in again um, the first thing I notice about this slime is that it is really squishy um, and I this again to me is not a slime this um, to me is more of a putty but I love the little beads I would love it if they stayed in and um, but we might have to I might have to play with it a little more to get them incorporated because I am losing quite a few of the beads but we're getting great pops from the from this and there goes another bead um this to me seems like pretty decent slime or clay or putty um there's quite a good stretch and i love the fact that the beads are the beads are falling everywhere that is not a good sign um i was going to say i love the fact that the beads give this putty quite a bit of crunch if we could just keep the beads in the slime maybe we do need to just play with it a little bit more all the beads are falling everywhere I'm just going to pop the ones that fall out back into the little container and one has fallen on the floor so we've lost four beads five beads so far but you are getting ones that are staying in and you can see that this looks to be like a crystal slime I don't know why it looked white in the in the box oh it's such a good bubble pop guys the only thing that I don't like about this slime is just the sheer amount of beads that we're losing from the slime. They literally do not incorporate properly. I mean, you can see them fall. That's number two that we've dropped on the floor. And we've got more to the side. I mean, I know this slime was only two pound, but I would have expected if the beads were in it for the beads to stay. Um, so that's a little disappointing um, that would also lead me to probably not buy this slime again even though it's super pretty it's just the fact that, that I lose a lot of the beads and I have a small dog who possibly might try to eat these beads so no I will be hoovering to make sure that they're, they're all picked up but we're just losing all of the beads the beads are not staying in this putty at all so that's a real shame because it's to me it seems like decent putty it's got a good crunch we'll throw the beads that fell out but we're just not getting the beads to stay in and you know, if they're falling out, then you're not really, I mean, it, there are so many beads on the table right now. If you're not getting the beads, if the beads are not staying in, then it kind of makes this clay or putty not so worthwhile. But for, I guess it costs two pounds. Um, it'd be fun for a little while. I don't think that you would have a long play time out of this slime. And to me, I probably wouldn't buy this again. And I'm a little disappointed because this looked so pretty in, oh, another bead. This looks so pretty in the jar that I thought this would have been super fun. And it's a real disappointment. So guys, I don't want to lose any more of the beads. So I'm just going to pop that right back into its container. And we're going to use all of these clays in more fun videos where we do a lot of mix-up. So we mix our 
our clays together. And the next thing I want to show you is this modeling. And I call this modeling, I'm just going to push this all together to incorporate it. Um, it's like modeling clay. So there are things that you can make with this clay if it comes out of the jar. Okay, it is seems to be quite sticky, but I mean, it's come out of the jar relatively clean. So that's good. It is pretty tough. But I love, can you hear that crunch? And this red, I know it's looking a little pinky on screen, but it is just super red. And it's it just, if it, it feels almost like a really strong squishy. Um, I'd probably use this more for, um, you see how that pulls apart? That is so fun. Um, more as a de-stressor, you know, but I mean, you can pull parts, you can pull it off and you can make, I'm just going to pop it down so we can see, you can make shapes. So it is quite pliable. Um, Yeah, this is this one's super fun. I would definitely keep this and reuse it. I like the fact that all of these little polystyrene foam beads, um, once they're incorporated, you can pull it apart and they're not coming away on my table. There's nothing. It's really clean. There's nothing on my hands. It is this is super fun. And the more I'm playing with it, the more I'm stretching it the easier it's becoming. I think it's my, the, probably my body heat warming it up. It makes it easier to manipulate and move and stretch. And this has a huge stretch. I mean, some slimes. I know some, definitely some clays don't even stretch this much. This is a lot of fun. This one I would definitely buy again. It's almost got like a really tough butter where you can push it around and manipulate it. So this is so fun. I would definitely recommend this to anybody. This um, foam bead clay, the or they call it the pearl clay. Um, and obviously they've made little shapes. I'm not that artistic, but if you buy a number of these in different colors, I'm sure you would be able to build cat, a house, a dog. So guys, this one is super fun and I definitely would recommend this pearl clay. Um, so that's our clay slime pudding number three. And um, the next one I want to show you is this little unicorn one. And I know this is like a, almost like a duplicate um, because I did one recently that had the unicorn poo, but it was pink. And I just loved this green color. So when you open it, this is what you'll see. Your figurine is at the back. Guys, again, just remember that these are for three years up. And we've got a little air bubble. Let's see if we can get it to pop. No, we didn't. And this is, this is definitely a putty. You can feel the consistency. You can tell that it's a putty. And it's got this gorgeous green glitter. I'm going to go ahead and just pull that out. And the last, um, the last unicorn poo in this, this same brand and the same type that I bought, um, it was pink and it came with, I think, a pink figure, if I'm right. Loving this clear tube. I'll definitely keep that and reuse it. Um, we'll just pop our unicorn right out and we'll set our putty right here. And you can see that, I mean, they do put the detail in. And you've got the unicorn horn and you've got the gorgeous flowing hair. We've even got a little um, star. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's quite fun. We'll put our 
we'll put our charm at the top. That's my dog just shaking. Um, I think I've got a little bit of the red um, clay from the, the previous one in this um, putty. So you just just remember that you won't have this in yours. Guys, I don't know if you can see it, but look at that stunning green glitter. And the crystal clearness of this putty. And I'm just trying to show you the stretch that we're getting on that. I mean, this is where we're at so far. Uh, this looks amazing. Just gorgeous green iridescent glitter. This one is definitely a really good um, putty. It seems like it's got a it's got a quite a hefty structure, almost um, like a you know like a stronger. Um, squishy not so not too squishy that it just deflates and um, this is so much fun and I'm sure that if you had you know one of the cutters that you could you know cut shapes out of this it's definitely what I would do my dog's having a, a little route around the kitchen you guys look how crystal clear that is I mean you can see right through from the clay to my kitchen table. Oh, we've got a slight little air bubble here. I'm really terrible at doing these air bubbles. I try and I try and I try and I'm just not good at them, but that's okay. I guess with practice, it'll make perfect. Um, so this is really, really fun and I think it's adorable. Um, this costs from what I can remember, between £1.49 and £2, um, you, I don't think it tells me how many grams you're getting in this one on the packaging. No, I mean, I, I can't tell, I can't tell what packaging, from packaging what you're getting, but I mean, it's a decent amount of clay. This is what you're getting. And then you also get your figuring as well well it calls it a figure we call it I'm just gonna call it a charm and I think that is so cute and as you push through the the figure the charm I mean it is stretchable so when you're stretching your slime it does stretch a little with it Oh, just, oh, and it's just starting to pull out. That's fun. I really, really like this. Um, I really like this slime or clay. Um, I've had it, I've done a previous video on this slime and I, I gave it the same review because I thought it was fantastic. And you de you, try, you tend to get the unicorn um, slimes in pinks and purples and a little bit of blue and I never saw this green one before and I thought that is so cute I have to buy it and I have to test that one out so that's exactly what I did and I'm glad I did because it is a lot of fun and I'm loving the fact that you get a black unicorn figure so guys this one is definitely worth the money I would recommend this to anyone I mean, you get really good bubble pops from this. And you can see that it becomes less transparent when you've been playing with it because you're capturing the air inside this. But the more you stretch, the more see-through it's becoming. Guys, the stretch on this, just to show you, this is the stretch that I've got so far. I mean, that's a really, really good stretch for any putty because putty and clay does it tends to snap the more that you play with this and the warmer it becomes the more stretch you've got I just I think this is super fun I think it's great quality I think it is well well worth the price so that's our unicorn poo I think I've over exhausted that one we're just going to pop our figure back and then we'll pop our Oh, <laughs> we'll pop our, we'll pop our um, putty back in, if I can actually get it, and it doesn't want to go. 
Oh dear. That's it now. I just needed to get some of the air from the bottom of the, the pack out. So that's our unicorn poo. Um, and the last one I want to show you is from Wish. I've never had... When I purchased this, to be honest, um, it looked like it was pre it it was pre made in the tub. It didn't look like it came from these packets, um, so I was a little bit surprised just to see these packets. Um, I was loving the charm. The charm is a little gooey. I don't know if it's been used in a different type of slime. I don't know, but I was a bit surprised to see these packs. But you know, that's okay. Um, but so in the blue. We seem to have little gold stars. Yeah, just a clump of little stars. Um, in the white, there's nothing but the white, but you don't get actually a whole lot of slime in this, and it feels, it feels hard. I don't know. It that, that the white just doesn't feel good, but we're still going to add it in. And then in the pink, and this is a beautiful crystal clear pink. I'm not actually even sure what they are. Are they hearts? They look like bits of a different type of confetti. We've got one sec, just I pull it out of the... Yeah, I think these are just little pieces of iridescent plastic. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to try um, putting these all together and see what we get. So I think I might leave the white to last because it doesn't look fun. Um, we'll see what these are like to take out of these little packets. Okay, these look like gel. Um, they seem to... Okay, so I might just rip the side of the packet. It might be easier to, to pull this jelly-like consistency out. Okay, they came out of the packet quite well. And this is what we've got in the blue. You can see we've got the stars and we've got we've got more of that little iridescent paper but we'll pop that at one side i guess this is a diy kit you know just do it yourself maybe we'll open the white and just see what it's like see this white is yeah it's slimy it feels like it has been over over activated but, I mean, there's just, it feels like a clump. I mean, there's no stretch in it. You can't really break it. It's not the best. But we're going, as it came with the pack, we're going to put it in. So we'll just set that to the side. And my hands feel soapy, just not nice. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this pink. Okay, and the pink feels very like the blue. You've got that jelly-like consistency. Um, and I'm hoping that, sorry, I pulled it off camera, didn't mean to do that, guys. Um, it comes right out of the packet quite good. Yep, perfect. Not, not a bit left over. And you've got this gorgeous pink. Um, and it's so sad that you can't actually see how beautifully pink this is. I can maybe, no, that doesn't even help. Let's see if we can put it against the white so you're getting a little bit of an understanding of how pink it is. It's just this gorgeous baby pink, crystal clear slime um, with those little iridescent pieces. And then if I move, you can just, the light's just catching. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop that in. I mean, this is a bit more like what it looked like when I was buying it from Wish. And you have your charm in the middle. It obviously looked prettier than I've made it in the um, in the photo, but it's what we it's what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and try and just mix these together. The white is just is so bad; it's completely overactivated, and it just looks it looks a bit of a mess. But I'm loving the, the pink and the blue together. I think that is so pretty. And obviously the blue is just going to encompass all of that pink. I mean, the pink is pretty much already gone. The white is not mixing at all. But I'm loving these. 
loving the stars and the little snips of iridescent paper because they catch the light and oh bubble bob <laughs> and it makes it sound amazing um yeah the white isn't mixing in at all it kind of looks like oh a mess i'm kind of wishing i hadn't have put the white in because this is not a bad clay um it's definitely not a slime. It doesn't have that slime consistency, but it, it, it is clay. Um, and it's worth the two pound if the white wasn't such a mess. Um, it might actually even be better to just take. I mean, you can see when I'm stretching, the white is just cracking. I mean, that is oh so bad. It's kind of a little satisfying to watch the white crack, I guess. But I just wish I hadn't have put it in. It really messed up this slime um, and made it, for me, not really worth the money. So that's a bit sad. Um, otherwise, this is a pretty decent um, clay. You can still see the little pieces of iridescent in it. Um, it is beautiful. And we just... Like, look at this white color right over here. This is just a clump of mess. And we can't, and we can't even take it out. It's, oh, that's such a mess. I mean, and it, it's not that aesthetically it doesn't look nice because I do think the white mixed in gives it that wave type of look, you know, like waves crashing off. Um, and I kind of like that. Um... But it's just, if it had have mixed a bit better, I guess I would have liked that a bit more. Um, yeah, guys, the white is definitely the thing that has ruined this um, slime or clay for me. Um, it's also making it very hard to stretch because the white literally snaps. You can see it cracks. So, um, yeah, that's not so much fun. I guess I would possibly buy this again. Um, I don't think that I would use the white. I, I would probably get rid of the white and just use... My camera has gone to the side again. I would probably just simply use the, the pink and the blue because the pink and the blue together are really stunning. Um, and there's so much fun, but that is our little kit. Um, so that's all of our slimes and clays and putties that we have in this video. And do keep a watch out for my future video where I mix all of these slimes together. If we can keep them in these slimes together. And we mix it with Orbeez and some glitter and that'll be a super fun video. So thanks everybody for joining me. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you the next time. Bye.